Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to day 12 of designing an island in 30 days without Nintendo Online. I thought we could start on the Animal Crossing screen today. Just mix it up. Shake it up a little bit. It is August 30th and today we have a visitor in the campsite. Oh this is always so exciting whenever we get one in the campsite. Okay before we get to go see who our campsite villager is let's get into our daily routine. I'm gonna check my mail, look for my bottle on the beach, shake my trees, water my flowers and i absolutely cannot find my money spot anywhere so hopefully we'll find that a little bit later today our little patch of pink flowers is coming along nicely i like to just water them so that they can potentially duplicate and spread which they have been doing just a bit so i'm gonna have to probably move them from this area it's getting a little too small for them an update so i did bring my switch into bed with me uh before i fell asleep and i just very quickly decided to leave this house here i think i was talking about how i was undecided if i wanted to leave it here or move it but I thought honestly it was looking pretty cute and it kind of like fits in nicely so I decided to leave it here I just added some extra decorations like this little cucumber horse on the mushroom platform and put like this water thingy faucet and put like some extra trees to the left here so that was really it honestly it took me like two seconds so you didn't miss out on much but anyways i know what you all want to see and i want to see it too because we have the chance we have a chance every time we get a campsite villager to find an ultimate dreamy i don't even know who the ultimate dreamies are maybe lily i guess lily would be the ultimate dreamy for this island but regardless i'm very excited to see who's in here maybe we get someone good maybe we get to finally kick someone out let's see oh <laughs> Oh, okay, no. We have a little squirrel, Pecan. She's a cutie. If I was doing cottage core or forest core, I would take her, but no, she's not the vibe that I'm looking for, unfortunately. What is this? This is our like second campsite villager after our very first one that we have to take after Quilson. So that is two for two, no campsite villagers that we are taking. Also, I just realized I'm not wearing any pants. I am so sorry about that. I feel so embarrassed. Let me, I'm gonna, you know, I need an outfit. I'm so sick and tired of just me always looking like a mess. Okay, here's what I was thinking. I was thinking we could make something and for now it can just be like literally just like a plain dress. There we go. There's our little spring core dress. Okay, that's it. Let me take off these ridiculous striped socks. Finally, finally we shed ourselves of the socks. And then I'll keep this hat for now, but I do want to find one that matches a little bit better. I think there's one with like a little white ribbon. I really want that one but at least we look a little bit put together and we actually got some nook miles for making that custom design which is always great okay so what i'm also going to be doing is i'm going to check nooks oh my goodness i swear i've seen this broom and dustpan thingy like four times utterly ridiculous is this the same exact strawberry soda okay no this is some orange juice i'll buy this no fancy umbrella but we have the frog umbrella people we have the frog umbrella this isn't a drill okay timmy and tommy we're good for something today now i'm gonna go see if anyone's crafting frobert is home and he is not crafting okay okay maybe it's quilson it is quilson yay what you got a wooden bucket yes i've been wanting this one give me the bucket so the game plan for today i really don't have that much i don't have like a a big project for us to do i guess our biggest project would be to decorate nooks i feel like we're so close like look at this we have a nice foundation going on we have a bunch of items to work with now so we should decorate nooks and then i just have like a bunch of like little things i want to get done i feel like every day we need to be doing something like we have to accomplish something especially in terms of decorating uh we need to decorate something like every day i'm really feeling the time crunch this is day 12 soon we're going to be on day 15 which is literally halfway through this challenge so i am scared to say the least but let's see what we can do here with nooks i'm gonna scoop up this tree it's a little too in the way for me i guess let's see what items i want to use because that is gonna be really helpful to know first kind of decide like what items i definitely want to include okay okay i think i got some stuff i think i figured it out so the first thing i want to include is i did manage to get a little shopping cart from nooks and Oh my goodness, we have to include it. We have to. I was gonna say, I wish it wasn't blue. I wish it was like more of a springy color, but actually the blue matches with the roof. So I'm not that mad about that. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then we put a piece of fence like right there, right? And that can be like the little cart corral 
thingy kind of you know what i mean i'll put some log stakes here instead plus i feel like i'm kind of overusing that fence anyway i want to get some different fencing options up in here absolutely absolutely beautiful oh hello oh dizzy just ran across the whole island for that oh thank you he's teaching me the little bashful one how cute thanks okay and then he just decides to start fishing here thank you dizzy thank you i'm gonna put some cardboard boxes in the back i feel like cardboard boxes are always really good for nooks because it's just like oh they're a store you know they're gonna have shipments they're gonna have boxes and then in front we can do like a little mushroom platform oh don't talk to dizzy no 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 i kind of want to place the frog umbrella since nooks does sell umbrellas obviously that can be like showcasing one of the items that they sell then i'm gonna put this little mama bear gonna put a little speckle of a dirt path right here maybe we can do some glowing moss i think i ran out of it though i i think i literally used all my glowing moss i'm gonna do some more flowers because when in doubt just put down some flowers i also want to use the swinging bench and i want to put it like right in front of the store kind of like how cracker barrel has like the swinging benches outside the store and i know what you're thinking you're like raven that's covering the drop-off box but listen hear me out since i'm going to need bells for ordering items bells for moving houses all the time because i can never decide where i want to freaking move buildings and stuff i need to maximize my bells desperately so i should not even be using the freaking drop box in my mind in my opinion i shouldn't be lazy about it because that's just losing bells oh my goodness flick is here i didn't even know flick was here okay that's perfect speaking of maximizing bells i can sell all of those bugs that i've been hoarding for him like i need to save every bell possible i should not be using the drop box whatsoever in front of this i'm gonna do a little stepping stone i think that's so cute let's just do another one why not and then i'm gonna do the fencing this way i'm gonna to get rid of these flowers to the left it's looking pretty empty over here so i'm gonna start filling in with some trees we'll do one right there and then we will do one right here even though i think i literally had one here before but i moved it but it's fine i don't think i'm gonna do anything else in terms of item decorating i think i'm just gonna fill in this space to the left with trees okay these might look silly right next to each other but i wanted to put a little signpost right here that signals that resident services is just over there yonder. And then I wanted to put one right here that shows that the shop is right here in case you, you know, in case you couldn't tell. I think it's cute. I think it's like a little added touch and it is so adorable. And then I thought it would be fun to replace this totally boring regular tree to my left here with a snazzy fancy money tree because you need bells to even go inside this shop. But okay, that is Nook's Cranny officially freaking done and decorated we're done check that off the list okay actually one last thing i did find some glowing moss i'm just gonna put one right there there okay now we're done officially done and decorated check it off the list i put a little coconut sprout here thinking it would be cute and it is but i'm still gonna be on the hunt for the perfect item to go here and then i am finally gonna break this rock and i'm gonna fix this little path piece right here there we go everything is fixed and that does give you a little bit more room to run around so that's nice okay so next let's go sell all of the bugs to flick let's get rid of those my inventory is cleared out and now we get to pick up all of these bugs that i've been saving i'm gonna go quickly see if i can catch some more just to fill up the rest of my inventory and then i will meet you back at flicks winnie why aren't you wearing clothes Winnie, put a shirt on, please. Okay, so I am going to get another bug model, of course. I'm going to get another paper kite butterfly because that's the only bug I have three of. And then I'm going to go ahead and sell the rest of these bad boys. I feel like we should get a lot. I have a lot of like good butterflies in here, so I'm excited. 43,000 bells. Thank you, Flick. So next, I think I'm going to use some of our newly acquired bells to go move a villager house. Ever since I stopped ordering my five items every day, I keep accidentally not checking the nook stop and keeping up my streak listen cool and the only reason i'm even giving you a heads up about this is because i'm trying to be nice for tom otherwise i would have just uprooted you with no warning in the middle of the night when you're dead asleep so be grateful for that wilson is gonna be the third house up on this like little neighborhood cliff oh here's my money spot i knew i would find it eventually honestly doing my money spot every single day has been such a good source of bells like i just have like daily guaranteed bells like yeah it's not that much it's technically only twenty thousand because i put in ten thousand every time and i get thirty thousand so it's technically twenty thousand a day but honestly like it's good it's solid it adds up so i i highly recommend doing the money spot if you're gonna do anything but anyway let me just put his house i don't know 
wherever. And then I would like to keep working on some decorating. I feel like we got a lot done with nooks, but you know, we can always do more. I'm thinking since Abel's is back here, you can see it in the distance, we should put a bridge like right here or somewhere here. And then we can have a path going from kind of like the nooks area going towards Abel's. So let's go put a bridge up. Oh no, Marina, Marina, I'm sorry, no. Please give this video a like for Marina. I'm just gonna do the log bridge. I'm not feeling very fancy today. Marina, no, don't do this. Marina, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I didn't talk to you about the reaction you were gonna give me. I, it was too late. I had already pressed the button. You don't have to do this, Marina. Please, we can work it out. We can talk about this. I'm just not gonna talk to her and hope that that thought bubble transfers onto somebody else, please. Okay, so Quilson's house will be moved tomorrow, but the bridge is gonna go here. Unfortunately, I do not have enough bells to pay this off, but I know a really good bell making method that's here on our island today. <laughs> I'm gonna go catch more bugs. Actually, I have this money tree. This might give us enough. Yep. Okay, cool. We have enough now. Okay, that is paid off now. I only have 4,000 bells, but that's okay. I'll just catch whatever bugs I see as we work today on our little areas and I'll just sell those to Flick. I definitely want to time travel today though. I want to get that bridge built and oh, another money tree. Perfect. <laughs> and I want to see if that thought bubble transfers onto somebody else because that would be real nice. Maybe Rooney will finally leave. You never know. Like this is just so rude. Like she's being so overdramatic just for nothing. Okay, so what I'm thinking is I want to continue this in-game path. I don't really know where it's going to lead yet. I might just lead it all the way down to the other bridge that's over here that's in front of the museum. I feel like we've been getting a whole lot done, honestly, but at the same time, I start thinking about the cliffs that I have in the back of the map and I start getting scared. There is so much space over there. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have no clue. I gotta move this tree, but I mostly have this path for the most part put down. I, it's, uh, I got, I gotta take some of this stuff away and then we can have this spot right here you know this is kind of like a little path that goes diagonal to the bridge just guesstimating where the log bridge kind of like entrance and exit is gonna be hopefully it'll be right there and then the easiest way that i have been finding to use these paths is to just start with the edges so like i'm just starting with like this right edge here and i just go and place down the outline for that and then i figure out the other ending point where do i want this to kind of lead to and just kind of repeat the same thing just mark out that outline the other side and then all you have left to do is the fun part which is just fill in all of the middle pieces okay so there we go there's our mostly finished path i have to wait for this house to move and for the bridge to be built to finish it so we'll finish that pretty soon next i'm going to find a spot for another tree this looks like a good spot right here and then i have a simple well that i want to put down i'm thinking i want to put it right here so i'm just putting some custom custom designs and then we'll put the well right on top. I also have a bike that I've been wanting to use. I'm gonna put it here. Now I'm gonna go grab some more flowers just to fill in all the rest of those empty spaces. But before I put some down, I'm just gonna put some little dirt spots here and there just to make it more visually interesting and also just to spruce up the map a little bit. It's like putting confetti on your map. It's, it's a lot of fun. Okay, there we go. That's looking really cute. I like it. All right, I'm gonna sell everything that I've got to I almost said nook <laughs> to flick. It's not much, but it's something. Again, not much, but it's something. Okay, so lastly today, I have an idea. So you see this huge fruit orchard full of fruit that I have not shaken and sold, right? I mean, you see that. I was thinking we could also get redemption for when I sold all of the um, sea creatures without the bell boom ordinance. Yeah, I'm gonna turn it on for tomorrow, the bell boom ordinance, and we're gonna see how much we can make tomorrow. While we're here, let's just, let's just see what's our island rating right now. We're still at three stars. Okay, you know, I'm not surprised because I have a lot of dropped items. Let's go ahead with the Bell Boom Ordinance. The Bell Boom Ordinance will go into effect tomorrow. Okay, so we did have to invest 20,000 bells for that. So we got to keep that in mind tomorrow whenever we're selling things. I'm going to grab everything in here and I'm going to take all of this and sell it tomorrow. Okay, let's go ahead. Time travel. I'll see you there. It is the last day of August, August 31st. The Bell Boom Ordinance is in full effect starting today. Before we get into those shenanigans, let's go ahead and do our daily routine. I'm going to check my mail, look for my bottle on the beach, shake my trees, 
water my flowers. And once again, I cannot find my money spot for the life of me, but it's okay. I'm gonna see what Nooks has for us today. Although in theory, I shouldn't be buying anything because things are gonna cost more. I'll see, how much could this possibly be? 500 bells, Psh, that's, that's fine, that's nothing. Do you have the fancy umbrella? that I'm looking for. No. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and shake all of these trees. Cue the fruit picking montage. All right, that whole orchard is wiped clean. I'm very excited to see how much we make with this. Okay, so we have quite a bit of fruit and also some junk. 30,000 bells. Honestly, I expected more. I'm sure if I had a full inventory of fruits, it would make a big difference. Unfortunately, Rooney is the one crafting today. What you got? A bath mat, yay. Thanks, Rooney. Oh, you're so useful. You give me the best recipes. Hey, I'm back again. It's me. I finished editing and I had dinner and did some chores. So I am back again. As you can tell, it's pretty late in the evening here in Animal Crossing. It's 546, but I think it's a very pretty time of day. I still want to get some work done on the island. I'm going to see if anybody new is crafting now. Okay, Rooney is not crafting anymore, so somebody else should be. It's Quilson, and he's making golden flooring. Great. I love flooring DIYs so much. So I've been really liking my approach lately of just kind of like starting with one area and we started with the plaza and then just kind of like branching out like a spider web from there after we did the plaza we did the little right section over here with robert's house and then after we did the plaza we did the entrance kind of area and i worked on all of this and i worked on nooks and now we're going even more to the left so i've been really liking that approach it's been really helping me because i feel like oh like oh i have this stuff decorated over here so then it's just kind of easier for me to start decorating nearby by versus working on a totally new blank like naked area you know what i mean so the next logical place for me to start decorating is this empty space where i'm walking around and i was thinking like oh like a flower field would be really nice just <laughs> fill this space up really easily with some more flowers but I have the museum right here and now I'm second guessing my museum placement choice okay I also grabbed some fencing I feel like that's gonna be really nice to kind of like mark out the flower field areas and I also think we need some trees so I'm gonna scoop up this one that's kind of like in the way over here we'll put it down right here Felicity Come on, bestie, don't do this to me. Actually, wasn't she the most recent one to move in? Doesn't that mean she can't have a thought bubble or she's extremely unlikely to get a thought bubble? Let's talk to her. Okay, yes, it was not a moving thought bubble. I wonder if it was a moving thought bubble on Marina earlier? I don't know. Ah, thank you for the shirt. Thanks. Anyways, put down another tree and we can finally finish up this path. There we go. Looking great, looking great. So I'm gonna go in with fencing now. I might have to craft more. I have like none. Okay, I ran out of fencing, but I'm gonna start by placing all of our cosmos on the floor. I bought so many freaking cosmos. Hopefully this will be enough to kind of like nicely fill it in. Nice, I got 2,000 miles for planting 200 flowers total on this island. But I don't know, I'm starting to second guess my second guessing. Maybe this flower field would just look really nice right here next to the museum. And we could just keep the museum like super simple and low key. I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time when I planted a bunch of flowers like this. I'm gonna go ahead and time travel so that all these flowers are nice and grown in. And I will come back and show you what it looks like because I wanna give you the final picture. You know, at the end of this video, I don't wanna make you wait. So I will be right back. I'm also so dumb. This whole time I thought I had to just wait for Harvey to send me a letter in the mail to unlock his eye, like the plaza part. No, turns out you have to do one photo shoot in the freaking Phototopia place, which I have not done. 
<laughs> so I could have had Harv's Island this whole time. Okay, I haven't time traveled fully all the way yet, but we are in September now. And I just wanted to show you what the island looks like with the new grass, with the September grass. Oh, this is so nice. This is so nice. I love this so much more than the bright green grass for this island. Okay, I'm back from time traveling. I did find the hat that I wanted to get specifically in Abel's. Very excited about that. I'm absolutely loving how the island looks with this grass. Ugh. Oh. I think I might keep it in this season. But anyway, I wanted to show you the flower field. It's looking really nice. It's looking really nice. I still have to do some finishing touches, like finish this path, add some more custom designs, like under the fencing and stuff like that. But I just wanted to show you what all of our hard work turned out to be. So I'm going to end it off here. Thank you so much for watching. I feel like we were fairly productive today. I would say so. Tomorrow, we'll most likely end up decorating the museum or moving it or both. Something with the museum. And I'm very excited. So thank you so much again for watching and I will see you tomorrow.